How's it going everyone? It is Pangino here and in this video I'm going to be showing you one quick and easy window setting which is automatically enabled on all systems which could be taking away up to 10% of your FPS in many of your PC games. To turn this setting on or off it's extremely simple, quick and easy to do so it's definitely worthwhile at least looking into this, trying it out for yourself and if you see great improvements fantastic and if you decide at any point you want to turn it back on it takes about two seconds and this is available across the board on desktop, laptops, old, new, high end, low end, regardless of how bad or good your system is you could see benefits from utilizing this optimization. Tired of seeing the activate Windows watermark, built a new PC, or just want to own Windows at a major discount, head over to WhoKeys to purchase a Windows 10, 11, Home, or Pro OEM key at a major discount. Make sure to use code PAN20 for a further 20% off at checkout, where you can use a safe and secure payment method such as PayPal. Once your key is delivered, simply input the key inside of Windows, and boom, you're now completely activated and own Windows forever. You'll now have access to all features and no more watermark. Thanks again to WhoKeys for sponsoring today's video. For this optimization, we will be looking into the core isolation setting found with inside of Windows 10 and Windows 11. Further into this, we will be looking at the memory integrity setting, which is enabled by default. So if you haven't jumped into this setting yourself and manually turned this off, this setting will automatically be running on your system. So to adjust the core isolation or memory integrity setting on your system, whether it be a laptop, desktop, old or new, in Windows 10 or 11, navigate down towards the bottom, find the Windows button, then type in core space isolation. Then click on the core isolation system settings panel which opens up. You'll be brought into the core isolation settings. Once you've loaded into the core isolation settings for Windows, you'll then find the option for memory integrity. This is the setting we're going to be disabling for the performance boost. Now do bear in mind that this performance boost doesn't come without any additional cost. This could potentially make your system more vulnerable to certain attacks depending on how safe you are or unsafe you are with browsing the internet, downloading files, running things on your PC, and general security across the web and locally. For most people watching, this will not be an issue. This is an advanced security feature which is enabled by default, but many people may decide that the performance increase is more valuable. And for small applications like Intel's overclocking utility or XTU that I use my Intel 13th gen CPU to undervolt and overclock it, I can't actually utilize that program without having memory integrity turned off. So from a compatibility standpoint, there may also be a benefit there when utilizing certain drivers, applications, or looking for a performance increase. I would highly recommend that you select the learn more section to be brought to the official Microsoft page for memory integrity, where you can read up more about this before to disabling it or enabling it on your system so you can make a better informed decision if this is worthwhile doing for yourself. Once you have made your decision, if you do want to turn this off for a potential performance increase in many games, go ahead to the memory integrity option, switch this to the off section like mine is, then restart the system. Once your system has restarted, navigate to the bottom once again, search for core isolation once again, and just double check that the memory integrity is actually still off and hasn't re-enabled itself when you restarted your system. Once that's disabled, any performance increase from having this turned off will then be present on your system, so boot back into some of your favorite games, rerun any tests you might have run beforehand to get a before and after, see how your system performs. If you prefer it, fantastic. But if you want to turn this back on at any time, all you need to do, search for core isolation once again, select the option, jump into memory integrity and turn it back on. Restart the system, memory integrity will be back on, core isolation will be running on your system and everything will be back to the stock settings. When searching for core isolation, if no setting comes up and you cannot find any of the options showcased in this video, that means that virtualization will be turned off in your motherboard's BIOS. So that means that memory integrity and core isolation can't be running on your system anyway and will automatically be turned off. Let me know of your results in that comment section down below and if you're going to be keeping the optimization enabled, if you're looking for further optimizations for your system, whether it be for GPU, CPU, Windows or other FPS guides for specific games, please do check out the description down below for the playlist section so you can dive deeper into the optimizations you care about or a specific part of your system. But not sure where to go next, check out one of the two videos on screen now and I'll see you guys over there.